Joy Morgan, a student who attended University of Hertfordshire, was unfortunately found murdered and her killer has been arrested. Carol Morgan has been trying to contact the church her daughter is part of. Hello, your call cannot be taken at this moment, so please leave your message after the tone. And I'll phone you back if I could speak about my daughter, please. Thank you very much. Carol says the church was like family to Joy. That was the only people that she associated with, associated with circled herself with. Last seen in Ilford on Boxing Day at the church. She was reported missing to the police over a month later. Hey guys, it's Marlon Riley. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. I actually had the intentions of um, doing this particular video prior a while ago, but I have been obviously traveling here and there. It's been very busy and very, very hard to do so. But what we need to address first and foremost is condolences to John Morgan's family, condolences to them, especially their mother, and I can't imagine what she's going through. It's a very sad and disgusting situation. Is there a chance that the church just haven't been able to contact you, but they've I, been trying? I think personally impossible. I've got a mobile. I've got a house phone, I also have an address. So, you know, out of the three of them, if you couldn't get me on the phone, you could have sent a letter. What we can do is just send her positive energy, just send her, you know, our wishes, and just give them their, their time. If we really want to get into it, where was this anywhere? Where was this anywhere? The lack of appreciation for the lack of coverage it was absolutely disgusting, disappointing. I saw this on Twitter a while ago and I expected a few, you know, main TV channels to at least cover this. And the fact that nobody has addressed this is very sad, it's disgusting and it's just shameful. Um, we're not really surprised. Obviously, you know, if a black female, white female, we know who would get more coverage if one is missing. And, you know, it really is just a covert representation of institutional and media forms of racism that are really embellished in today's society in a subconscious manner, let alone a conscious manner. And although we can do only so much through our social media forms, especially through Twitter and through people who have subscribers and YouTube and so forth, I actually was going to do a particular video to, you know, raise awareness for the fact that she is missing. Nobody really addressed it. But only now I've just realised that unfortunately she has, it's just been alerted to me that she has passed away. Um, there's an update. Somebody from Char Charlie Brinkhurst Coffee 43 minutes ago said, according to family members, Joy Morgan is dead. Dion Morgan said that Joy ain't coming back. 40-year-old Ajibola has been arrested and charged with her murder. There's more to this case that I've been investigating that we are unable to report right now. Um, this particular midwifery student was last seen in Ilford on December 26th. December 26th. This was when, like, you know, Christmas was going on, the whole Renee Vanessa stuff was going on. How long has that gone on? That's been a whole month and a half, and no, nearly February's ended now. Nearly two months have gone, and this has not been anywhere. This should be the main headline news, but it's not. Heartbroken for Joy's family and friends, last night I spoke to one school friend who described her as funny, friendly, she talked to anyone. Her sister Dion simply said that she's just like her name, Joy. Let's make sure she's not forgotten. Precisely, which is why I'm making this video. Let's make sure she is not forgotten. She's remembered for who she is. For those who knew her, I'm sure she was nothing but a bundle of joy, peace and serenity, and being a midwifery as well, it's a very hard job to do. Irrespective of that, unfortunately, this person was not covered at all in the news as much as they should be. Nothing was addressed as much. It's sad and it's disgusting, it's shameful, and we need to bring awareness to this most definitely. And if we have forms of media where we can reach other people, then we should definitely do that with our chest. And I feel like this particular situation must not be forgotten, echoing what her sister has said. We need to continuously reciprocate this because there could be future individuals, whether it be black males, black females, or people of color, of other shades of color, who could go missing as well. And obviously the lack of courage is deafening, it's sad, and it's just ridiculously moronic that we have not really addressed this really as much. You know, people are still funneling money into this Madeleine McCann, which happened, what, over 10 years ago now? And money's still being funneled into that, but this particular individual girl has not even been addressed in the news as much at all. Okay, maybe one report, one small, small report on ITV, BBC, and that's it. Well, let's call it a day. But really and truly, it's just a covert, it's, it's a covert form of racism that we are experiencing, that we are observing, that we are seeing. And I feel like communication, verbal communication, bringing it up, raising awareness is something that we need to do. Um, and I feel like this situation needs to be raised because it's disgusting and sad. I really don't want to go on anymore because I feel like we really should just give our condolences to her family and just wish them 
health, privacy, serenity, peace, positive energy, because you can't really understand. Nobody can ever really understand, not even what the family are going through, because they're already going through hell, but what the mother is going through from number one, losing your daughter, and number two, the fact that there's not much major coverage. And, you know, it's just how do you go to sleep let, as a, let alone a sibling or a um, best friend, but a mother who bore this particular child. How do you go to sleep when your child is missing and nobody's doing anything? It's just help. So really and truly, we can just send our positive energy, health, pos just so much positivity and, you know, just pray for them, keep them in our prayers. And obviously I thought it would be very wise of me to raise awareness to this particular issue because it is groundbreaking. And I should have raised this earlier on in my channel. I definitely should have. But um, to be honest with you, even I don't know what's going on. I took a couple weeks ago or like a week ago. I didn't even know this is happening. This took place December 26th been over a month and a half and there was not a peep and I'm on Twitter all the day I didn't see it anywhere in, in Twitter it wasn't even that much so I again let me know what you guys thoughts are on the situation because it's quite sad it's very sad hit me up on my Instagram please and definitely subscribe if you guys want to for consistent videos I would appreciate it thank you guys for watching and yeah just I don't know this is just sad but um thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys soon